Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. I'm Emmanuel, I am a Boeing 737 pilot and today we have something special because it really doesn't happen every day that brand new memory items are introduced by Boeing. But they found some issues with some previous procedures so Boeing has introduced the engine fire on the ground non-normal checklist which includes memory items as well. Now why do we need this checklist? Basically the previous procedure, if you had an engine fire on the ground, would have been to execute the engine fire memory items, which are basically designed for use during flight and not on the ground. And then if you could extinguish the fire or not, or rather if you could not extinguish the fire, then you would run through the evacuation checklist. However, there have been some issues caused with it. First of all, on the ground, previously, it was Boeing guidance to fire both engine fire bottles basically straight after one another. So, you would rotate the fire switch to the left and then immediately to the right to discharge both bottles to get the maximum extinguishing power from them. But, it was found that there was a problem with it. And the problem is that the system is designed in a way that when you fire one bottle, it enters the engine in the most optimal way and if you fired the second bottle straight away you would basically blow out the first bottle and they would interfere with one another and thereby causing both bottles to become less effective than a single bottle would previously have been. Also it was found that evacuations usually took much longer than they were su supposed to take and therefore a new procedure has been designed to expedite things a little bit. And this leads us to the engine fire on the ground non-normal checklist that has been introduced right on the uh, back cover of the QRH. That's where you would normally find the evacuation checklist and now just prior to the evacuation checklist you find the engine fire on the ground checklist. So let's quickly go over what the new procedure is. Condition. One or more of these secure. An engine fire is observed or an engine fire warning. And the memory items for this basically cover thrust levers both close Park and brake. Set. Advise the cabin. Engine start lever affected engine cutoff. Engine fire switch affected engine pull. To manually unlock the engine fire switch, press the override and pull. Engine fire switch affected engine, rotate to the stop and hold for one second. So basically, what is happening here in the memory items is the following. First of all, you are securing the aircraft for a potential evacuation. That means you stop it. You set the parking brake and you advise the cabin. Because on the ground there is no way for the cabin to know that a potential emergency situation exists unless the pilots tell them or unless they can see it. So if there is big black smoke coming from the engines they will know what's happening. But if there is not, if for example the ground crew observes a fire from the engine that the cabin crew cannot see, then they may not know. Or they might be busy doing the safety demonstration and therefore be focusing on that. So those are the first three items. Basically securing the aircraft and preparing it for an evacuation. And that happens as the very first steps now. Whereas previously the focus would have been on extinguishing the fire first. But now the cabin can basically start preparing while we are still working on the fire. And thereafter, we basically execute the um, traditional engine fire procedure. So engine start lever affected, engine cutoff, engine fire switch pull and rotate to the stop and hold for one second. But what's new here is that we only rotate it to the stop and hold for one second on one side. You will recall that in the engine fire memory items, we would rotate it to the other stop as well. And we no longer do this. So now it's either the first fire bottle works or it does not work and a related change to that is that by now we have to wait 30 seconds between firing the two fire bottles also on the ground previously it was just in the air now it's on the ground as well so now between firing the two bottles you always wait for 30 seconds and 30 seconds is a very long time that's why right after we've completed the memory items we are now going to decide if an evacuation is needed or not. Now the evacuation checklist you are familiar with already from previous videos, so I'm not going to cover that. But if an evacuation is not needed, we continue to the next page. That is advise the cabin and advise ATC. 
and that would basically happen if you are able to extinguish the fire and therefore you may be able to taxi the aircraft back to the gate or have it pulled back to the gate by a tug. So, let's actually go over what these items would look like in a practical situation. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to insert an engine fire in the aircraft and then we're going to run over the items in the checklist. So, engine fire, execute, state more function, okay, fire warning light, left fire switch is illuminated. Okay, engine fire on the ground, memory items. Thrust levers both, close, closed. Park and brake set, set. Advise the cabin. Cabin crew, stand by. Engine start lever, engine number one, cut off. Number one, cut off. Engine fire switch, engine number one, pull. To manually unlock the engine fire switch, press override and pull. Engine fire switch, engine number one, rotate to the stop and hold for one second. Okay, we've done that. Now we are going to check for the fire bottle discharge light to come on. That's going, that needs a little bit of time. Okay, engine fire on the ground, memory items complete. Let's do the engine fire on the ground, non-normal checklist. Condition, one or more of these secure on the ground. An engine fire is observed, or an engine fire warning. So, memory items, thrust levers both closed, park and brake, set, advise the cabin, engine start lever, engine number one, cut off, engine fire switch, engine number one, pull, and engine fire switch, engine number one, rotate to the stop and hold for one second. Choose one. Evacuation is needed or evacuation is not needed. Okay, the fire switch has extinguished. The bottle is discharged. We have been able to extinguish the fire. I would say an evacuation is not needed. Go to step 8. Advise the cabin. Number 1 to the flight deck. All right, now we uh, would tell the cabin crew what happened and what our further intentions are. And advise ATC. Now you would tell air traffic control what happened and uh, what your further intentions are. And that basically concludes the new engine fire on the ground non-normal checklist that Boeing has just introduced. Now why am I even making such a fuss about it? Basically, new memory items are introduced maybe every 10 years or so. But the reason for that is that we have well-established procedures and it only happens very rarely that some new procedures are actually introduced. And that's why I wanted to show you this checklist to give you some insight on what's actually happening in the real life and that in real life safety is never a standstill but we always continue evolving and working on new versions. By the way, one last thing I want to show you, that's if you look at the checklist here, it says November 30, 2021. And that's basically when the new checklist has been written and when it's been signed off by Boeing. From that date to about two or three weeks ago is how long it took for the authorities to actually approve that checklist. So this concludes our video. I hope you found this interesting and if you did please leave a like, comment and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. And I'm looking forward to see you all again on the next one. If you really really love my channel maybe consider a small donation through the buy me a coffee link in the com description of the video below. Until then thank you very much. Enjoy your weekend. I absolutely hope that wherever you are you have good weather like I do over here. 30 degrees right now. Clear skies. So I'm going to head outside now, have a little bit of fun. See you all on the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.